an honor and a real pleasure to have the opportunity to address you here today. I suspect that for many of you, this is the day you'll remember the rest of your lives, and a day that you can and should feel very proud about. To you and your loved ones, I offer my sincere congratulations, and I thank you for allowing me to be a small part of this day. I personally have not attended many commencements. I have to admit, it has nothing to do with commencements. I think they're wonderful. Uh, but I didn't even attend my own at Texas Tech. I've got to be honest about that. Um, I was too excited about coming home and going to work. And when the last bell rang, I, I headed south and got back here to go visit the You know, it's, clear, it's clearly a good thing for society to create rituals that both honor and celebrate our accomplishments and achievements. It's also important to focus on our future and to have a vision. To know where you're going and to make it important to get there. Of the many things I've learned, and I'll share a few of them with you today, one of the most pervasive, if it's not important, it's not fun. And if it's not fun, what's the point? So make it important. During the next few minutes, I will share a few of my life experiences that have helped shape my career. I will also be tossing around some what I call fuzzy words. Words like vision, culture, core values, and purpose. Although my experience is primarily in the business world, I believe the concepts I will discuss are equally pertinent to life in general. Uh, to put that another way, you guys get the business speech because that's the only one I got. <laughs> I was lucky enough to have my father as the most influential role model in my life. My dad attended college, but because of World War II and his desire and vision for the future, never graduated. So he didn't make a business, so it's a family thing. Um, to this day, at the young age of 86, he remains one of the most well-read, well-educated, and accomplished people I've ever known. I am proud to say my mom was a graduate from Texas Tech. Uh, it didn't happen for many women back in those days. Did you go to your commencement ceremony? Did you make your commencement ceremony? Okay, well, she made it. <laughs> and I'm happy to have you guys. Mom, they honor me. My wife, Sherry, and my parents honor me with their presence here today. So it's not that they, my parents do not believe in formal education. They simply believe, as I do, that education never stops. As my brothers and I grew up in our family business, we were challenged on a daily basis with what we refer to as pop quizzes. These were lively discussions about what was written in a recent Forbes or Fortune magazine or today's edition of the Wall Street Journal. My younger brother, Don, and I would joke from time to time to ourselves, you understand, that uh, sometimes we just want to go home, kick back and watch Planet of the Apes or maybe Animal House. <laughs> but it was a, a very fun and stimulating environment in our home, and there was always a clear vision. One technique to use in the wood home to stay focused is what I call the greatest gift, and it's the greatest gift my parents gave us. If you're as lucky as I was, you may have already received this gift. If not, I suspect it will come to you as a life experience at some point. What I'm referring to is work. They taught us how to work. Because they owned a small business, there were plenty of opportunities. We were carpenters, painters, plumbers. We dug ditches, we did demolition work. Many nights we gathered at the family table and processed stamp books which helped sell our products. In those days, there were no cell phones, computers, or video games. If there had been, I'm sure they'd been off most of the time at our house. There's actually two points I'm trying to convey here. One is if you're working with a jackhammer in 115 degree heat in Tucson, Arizona, you get the vision. The vision is, education is my ticket out of here. And this is not what I want to do the rest of my life. The second point is when given the opportunity to teach your children to work, they'll be forever grateful for it, just like I am. Excuse me, I gotta have some water down at home. With TV, they normally uh, they, they get their water when the applause is happening, so if you guys want to grab this water, you want to On a more very fundamental level, my dad is a true visionary. And because of his vision, we've enjoyed some, some nice success in business. I'm asked many times about how it came about, and only responded that it not just happened. There was a logical sequ 